live it down. But uh, yeah, man, it was a it's a dream come true. You know, everybody says if you like what you're doing, it's not a job. And like is an understatement for what I'm doing, because it's been my whole life and I've uh, finally made it. I like to say. How often do you have these competitions? Uh, usually, so the first like three or four months of the year, we go every single weekend. We do not stop. So, you know, we're home for three days at a time and then we're back out on the road, home for three days, back out on the road. But, uh, during the summertime, it calms down just a little bit because we're not all fighting for points and there's not as many tours going on. So we have three tours going right now and, uh, we're kind of just spread out a little bit. Everybody has their summer jobs and hanging out with family and everything. So, we're a little bit more laid back in summer, but whenever first quarter rolls around, it is, it's head over heels. You better be going. <laughs> Are you proud of where you're at today? And Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you can see, ever since I was a little kid, I've always dreamed of, uh, dreamed of carrying on the legacy. And actually I started driving whenever I was 11 in a high horse powered mega truck, which is basically the same concept as a monster truck with smaller tires and i kind of knew i had it in me because the first race that i went out i beat all of my dad's friends that have been mud racing for 20 and 30 years and they're all the way up in their 50s now and uh, i went out there and absolutely smoked them and it made my dad cry it made me cry and it made his friends cry too but for a different reason but uh yeah man i always i just knew i had it in me and here we are today Will you have your children follow in the footsteps of what you're doing? You know, man, I'm a strong believer of uh, I'm going to let them do what they want. If they want to drive monster trucks, come on. It's a fun job. If you want to be a doctor, you'll probably make more money than me. So go for it. (laughs) (laughs) Or you know what? They can do both. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we go? Once again, I know you're on your way to the airport. You're going to be performing live on Friday. I'm going to have the opportunity to meet you, to watch you, 7 p.m. uh, here in Las Vegas over at UNLV. Uh, What else would you like to share before we go? Um, You know, you honestly stole the words out of my mouth with your introduction at the beginning. But, uh, yes, we have four events this weekend. Be sure to check the website, make sure tickets are still available. You can go to monsterjam.com for that. And, you know, for a first timer for you, all I have to say is go ahead and get that phone out whenever Gravedigger comes on the track, because if I'm not broke or flipped over, it is going to be, it's going to be hell in front of your eyes. I like to say that.